Hello, welcome to a webinar hosted by Art with Heart. My name is Helena and I'm an art therapist and I'm also a trainer and facilitator for Art with Heart. Art with Heart is a nonprofit organization and we've been in existence for around 25 years. And you can learn more about us by going to our website at artwithheart.org. We're on a mission to help spread the healing power of creative expression for kids who are facing adversity or trauma throughout the world. And we hope today that we can start the healing process or the discussion about how art can really help the kids that are in your families, in your homes right now, or perhaps you're doing distance learning, you're a teacher, or perhaps you're a counselor and you're working with kids through some sort of social media platform and you wanna think of a, of a different way to help kids process what's happening right now in the world. These are trying times, these are challenging times, and we at Art With Heart feel strongly that the resources we have can help empower the work that you do with the kids that are in your homes or the kids that you're working with at a distance. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about an activity that I think is super helpful for kids between the ages of three and 12, let's say. It's from one of our books that we've published called Draw It Out. And this book is particularly important because it really focuses on grief and loss. It could be grief and loss around a person or a place or circumstances. And given what we're, ha what we're dealing with right now with COVID-19, we feel especially um, passionate about making sure you're aware of this resources, these resources, including this one, um, for the kids that are in your home or that you're working with at a some sort of distance learning. Uh, this was created in collaboration with a lot of experts, with kids input, with parent input, educators, mental health providers as well. This first activity that we'll do is called Today I Feel. So if you have the book, you may feel free to do that with your child, with your kid. There's also a free printable worksheet that's on our homepage at artwithheart.org that outlines the materials that you could use and uh, you know, that sort of gives you a little bit more detail. So the therapeutic goal or some of the social emotional learning competencies that kids can learn from actually doing this is to really build their vocabulary on naming what feelings are and what they're feeling inside in their body or in their mind or in their hearts, what's that called? It also helps create more awareness about how we are in that moment to just pause and reflect. And it can also encourage storytelling. It builds context as well. Uh, for some kids who are young, they may not know the words of what's going on inside of their hearts and, and in their minds or in their bodies. So it's hard maybe for us to understand, but that's the beauty of art, that we can allow children to express themselves visually to get a better understanding for themselves and also for us as we move forward during these next difficult weeks and months ahead. So the Today um, I Feel activity, there's an extension activity listed on here that goes beyond what's in the book. And what um, it does is it, acts, it asks you to invite your child to um, tell a story in a picture about Super Bunny. The Super Bunny is a brave rabbit that helps chase away bad things. Think about one bad thing in your life right now and make a comic book showing Super Bunny chasing down a problem and conquering it. So it may or may not relate the child's theme in the picture to COVID-19. It might be something different, missing a friend or not being in school, or maybe you have another loved one who's not well. So there's no right or wrong in any of these activities as far as how a kid chooses to express themselves. And sometimes you can be quite surprised by what a child might actually draw that Super Bunny is conquering or going to take care of. So just for, for you to feel you know, more comfortable, I went ahead and did this activity. And this is my example. And it's Super Bunny wearing a cape and it says, bye-bye COVID, and there's a giant image of a COVID cell, and Super Bunny is putting it into this huge black hole where it will never be seen again. So this is kind of my wish, my dream, if I had a Super Bunny and I could make Super Bunny take care of something for, for us right now, this is what 
This is what I was thinking of this morning. I also asked a child to do this activity. And this is um, a young boy who it might be hard to see, but created Super Bunny helping. It's a, a, a bunch of trucks that are on a road and there's a big um, hole or the, the road broke and the trucks are about to fall down the hole and Super Bunny is saving the trucks from going down into the cliff or the hole, if you will. So um, Super Bunny to the rescue, it says. All right, so that's one activity that you can do. Um, then after that, after maybe there's a story that a child is explaining or telling, you might wanna also just kind of review a list of feelings with your child. And there's lots on the internet of lists that you can print, depending on the age of the child, will depend on maybe the type of list that might help to kind of name and talk about different emotions. Uh, there's one that has more emojis called Today I Feel or Today I'm Feeling. And this is from rewardchartsforkids.com. It's free. Um, sometimes having these kind of images is more helpful for some younger kids. Then as you get more advanced, there's can be categorized lists of emotions that you'll find on the internet. Uh, and so this can be, um, again, a helpful way for you to start processing whatever's going on for you right now in your life with the kids that are around you and that you hold dear. And um, Super Bunny is just one more playful, imaginative way to help you learn about and help you understand more what kids are going through and for themselves as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this brief video. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to email us at info at artwithheart.org. If you have other suggestions or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to email us. Thank you and all the best. <laughs>